So on 29th of June 2023, Raila Odinga is expected to officially unveil and appoint the new chief of the Luo Unity or the Luo Council of Elders Chairman, well known as CAIR in the Luo community, following the death of Opio Otrondi in February 2023 and who was their leader or the Luo Council of Elders Chairman. So the same day that Raila Odinga will be presiding over that event is the same same day that Raila Odinga will be having a rally a demonstration rally, a public engagement with the people of Migori County. I want you to remember that Raila Odinga has officially started. He has officially begun a journey to oppose the Finance Bill 2023 on the ground. So he will be attending various rallies across the country to engage with the people and he has officially started with his major strongholds. He will be expecting, expected to hold a public engagement or a rally at Kamukonji grounds on Tuesday, then it go to Migori County and other rallies follows. Also, I want you to remember that Raila Odinga was humiliated, he was defeated very badly in Parliament whereby he had organized his troops to go and oppose the Finance Bill 2023, but this also what happened in Parliament, Raila Odinga lacked numbers and a majority of a section of the Azimio Lomoja Alliance legislatures together with the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance leaders overwhelmingly passed that finance bill 2023. So the only solution, the only uh, thing that Reloading can do right now is to go and oppose that bill at the courts of law. And also Reloading is expected to engage with the people of the Republic of Kenya to oppose that finance bill 2023. So we are eagerly waiting and we are uh, waiting for what will unfold in Raila Odinga's decision. And will he succeed this time round? Because Raila Odinga, in his recent um, political activities, he has been humiliated, losing and losing each and every time. It could be it is because of Raila Odinga is losing his grip because even a majority of uh, his major strongholds have shifted, they are shifting their loyalty to William Ruto and the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance government. But that is a story for another day. In this video, ladies and gentlemen, a majority of the Luo uh, leaders or the Luo elders, a rival group, have gone ahead to oppose, to reject Raila Odinga's decision to officially unveil or appoint uh, the, the leader of the Law Council of Elders or a replacement, and they have vowed to go and challenge Raila Odinga's move at the High Court. So in this video today, I just want us to discuss, I just want us to talk about why these Luo leaders, these Luo elders are against Raila Odinga's decision, are rejecting Raila Odinga's decision. But before that, I'm just requesting you to subscribe and give this video a like, just in case you are currently watching, here or maybe you're currently here for the first time and you haven't subscribed please subscribe you can also press the notification bell down below so that every time i upload a video here youtube will automatically update you by sending you the notification otherwise to my returning subscribers i really want to appreciate you so much because of your continued support actually without your support this channel cannot be where it is currently so feel very much welcome as you watch and i don't take the support for granted. So the first reason as to why the Luo elders, the Luo community, majority of them, are opposing Raila Odinga's decision to replace uh, the Luo Council of Elders Chairman, it is because, according to them, Raila Odinga does not have the powers to preside over the decisions, or he does not have the rights to preside over that process. According to them, Raila Odinga does not have that capacity. They don't actually recognize Raila Odinga to preside over that event. Raila Odinga should have just left that process, the entire process, to be conducted by the Luo Council of Elders alone so that they can make a rightful decision according to themselves, a decision that will satisfy them. Because if Raila Odinga will appoint somebody of himself or he will or if Raila Odinga will go ahead and appoint someone by himself that person 
will not be the law council of elders chairman but majority of the decisions that will be made by that leader will be in favor of Raila Odinga remember that Raila Odinga will not allow somebody who will oppose him because he is uh, very much focused on the law community the law uh, support because majority of them majority of the leaders currently as we speak have decided to oppose Raila Odinga and majority of the law residents actually are tired of Raila Odinga so basically here Raila Odinga is very much uh, he wants somebody who will lead the law community the law leaders on the right foot decision of supporting Raila Odinga so he's definitely protecting his own base that is what the law council of elders or uh, do not want that is why they don't want Raila Odinga to preside over that decision secondly it is a gentleman it is because Raila Odinga cannot dictate to them over who should be their next law council of elders just like i had said it earlier on they have that democratic choice to appoint somebody of their own somebody they they they, they would want to be their leader not Raila Odinga making that decision by himself not Raila Odinga coming and dictating to them on who should be their council of elder chairman that decision they don't want and finally ladies and gentlemen the law elders or the law community the reason as to why they are rejecting Raila Odinga's decision it is mainly because they have vowed to work with the government according to them they are working with William Ruto's government and they are arguably, arguably against Raila Odinga related decision or the Azimio Lomoja Alliance related issues majority or a section of them are working with the government they are supporting William Ruto's government which Raila Odinga has, has been opposing each and every time so basically that was it ladies and gentlemen that is the reasons as to why a section or a majority of the law council of elders are rejecting Raila Odinga's decision I don't know what you think let me hear thoughts on the comment section below do you think about Raila Odinga going ahead to appoint the law council of elders if you come from the law lakeside or you are from the law community and you're currently watching this video let me just hear your thoughts in the comment section below guys don't have much thank you so much for watching until next time but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel bye bye